Hey, my lovelies. Welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck. I'm really glad that you joined me today. Boy, is it getting hot out there. And when the weather gets hot and the temperatures rise, let's face it, guys, nobody really wants to cook. So on today's segment of Memories of Malta, I'm going to be showing you an amazing salad. It's Insalata Malti. Maltese salad. Now the first time I had this, I was in the south of the country in a fishing village called Marsa Schwank. There I was sitting in a cafe, literally right beside the sea, and they had a fish offer on that day. And the starters, you had a choice between a traditional fish soup, this salad, or some bruschetta. And I chose this salad, and boy am I glad I did, because it blew me away. Guys, it's so simple, but the flavors all combined in here is in so, without further ado, let's get in my kitchen and make Insulata Multi. Okay guys, this is going to be a one-shot video, so think of it as live. Alright guys, welcome to the Kitchen Countertop. This is a one-shot video to show you how to make this insalata multi. What I have in my bowl is just kind of like a little bed, and I'm using rucola or rocket um, or arugula. Now I've gone ahead and washed mine and I kind of mashed it up a bit. So don't do that. Just kind of fluff them up and when you dry them, I kind of mash mine up. But it's okay, it still tastes fine. Just I kind of overwash them. Right, that being said. The multi salad is a display. So I'm gonna start off with some cucumber. And you want everything to kind of be, like I said, on display in little sections. And then people can see what's in the salad and then they can toss it around as they see fit. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of cucumber in one corner. And I hope you've seen everything. Okay, and then I mentioned, well, I'm going to mention now, sun-dried tomatoes. The sun-dried tomatoes I ha we have here in Malta are just so amazing, guys, and it's almost a shame to cut them, but I'm just going to cut the big ones, not the little ones. I'm going to cut them in halves. And, guys, the amounts are just to your liking. If you like a lot of something, put it in. If you don't like a lot of something, you can omit it or just put less. And these under tomatoes actually come with like a roasted garlic. So that's going to add a lot of flavor. Again, guys, I love some, and there's no fresh tomatoes in this. So this is your, basically your tomato. So, you know, like I said, if you don't like sun-dried tomatoes, Omit them or just put a few. You can use cherry tomatoes as an alternative. Okay, so sun dried tomatoes are in. Then, of course, we have some olives. Now, <clears throat> traditionally, the olives would have pits in them, but I think if you're serving this to people who've never had a Maltese salad, it's kind of nice to give them without the pits. And again, how much you put in, up to you. Now, this is optional, but I have some radishes here, and I'm just going to slice them in halves. They are, and everything here is pre-washed, guys. I washed this before filming. You just want a nice contrast of color in between. So we have a green, we have a deep red, a green, a bright red, and a white of the radish. Now, when I had this in the seaside, there was an element that was kind of hidden on the bottom, which I'm going to show you next. And that was kind of a neat surprise. I was like, wow, okay. So that element is something we call caponata. Now what caponata is, and they come in little, little cans like this here in Malta. And basically it's roasted peppers and onion and um, zucchinis. And it's kind of like the Maltese version of the pinjor. And if you haven't seen my pinjor video, I shall put the link below. So I'm going to put my caponata in there. And it just adds a totally different element. And guys, I like a lot. You don't have to put this. Now, as I said, if you don't have this caponata, um, you can refer to my pinjar video, or you can just 
get some rotel maybe, or some roasted, roast your own um, vegetables in some tomato sauce, and that should suffice. Then what I'm going to do is I have a couple of small peppers. Again, optional. Um, <clears throat> you can use um, red bell pepper if you like. So that's going to go in here. Beautiful. As you can see, it's already starting to make a really nice array. Now, I've showed you guys this before. This is multi sausage, sauce maltilla. And this is cured um, with the spices, and you can actually eat this raw. However, some people don't like the texture. So if that's you, you can cook it. That being said, if you can't find multi sausage, get any cured sausage of your liking or. Um, um, a sausage that has fennel, preferably, okay? And you can use that. So I'm just going to give these a few rounds. Like I said, guys, you can eat this raw. Some people don't like the texture, but it is completely and utterly edible raw. Well, I shouldn't say raw, because it is it is kind of cured, you know, with, with the uh, spices. So I'm just going to... Dab those around here and there. One for the cook. Mmm. Beautiful. Stunning. Now, when it comes to onions, guys, you can put white onion, you can put red onion, or you can put scallions. And I found these gorgeous ones. Now, I just gave it a rinse, but I'm going to cut the outer skin off here. Just give it a slit and then take the outer portion off. And guys, again, this is very versatile. So if, again, if you don't like scallions, take, don't, don't put them in. Simple as. But I saw these and they were just too beautiful to pass up. And I got a big bunch, I think, for a year of 50. So I'm just going to reserve that for just a moment because there's one last element that goes in the salad. You have veggies, you have dried veggies, you have roasted veggies, you have salted veggies, you have crispy veggies, you have meat, and now you're going to add cheese. This is, <coughs> excuse me, Jibania. This is the Maltese cheeselet, um, and this one here happens to be um, Tabzar. It's coated in pepper, so it's like a peppery cheese. If you cannot find Maltese Jibania where you are, Use a goat's cheese or a goat milk mixed cheese and try and find one encrusted in pepper. If not, pepper it yourself. And what they normally do would just be, well, this is kind of hard. Yeah. Just cut this into big wedges. And then you can use your fork and knife and cut them up as you see fit later. So I'm going to add my jabania on top as well. Then I'm going to scatter my scallions. Guys, it's looking so nice. And it's so hot and I didn't have to cook and that's the bonus part. Right, now, it's being messy here. Let's dress our salad. I'm going to use the juice of half, just half of a lemon right now. Try not to get any seeds in. No, so far, so good. I'm sorry for the angle of my hand. But this really adds a beautiful... Oh, got a seed. It really adds a beautiful, gorgeous freshness. There's another seed. Okay. Now, just a little. And if you don't like it, you can omit it. Use any 
vinegar or just omit vinegar, but I'm going to use just a drizzle of balsamic vinegar. And we love our balsamico here in Malta. I don't eat a lot of it. I, I reserve it for special things like this, or sometimes I cook with it. It's great to cook with. And then lastly, or second to last, just a little drizzle of good olive oil. There we go. Of course, just a little bit of salt because the cheese is salty. Sun-dried tomatoes and olives are. A little bit of salt and a good grind of black pepper. And guys, that's it. This is Insulata Malti. Now, all you need to do is take this, go outside to your patio, balcony, dock, backyard, whatever you have, get a nice crisp glass of wine, and enjoy. Guys, I'll just be a couple of pics at the end. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like, please subscribe and share. Comment, I love all your comments, and we'll see you next time on Memories of Malta. Happy summer, guys.